It's Michelle from Honest and Truly, and I am an affiliate with Wild Grain, and they just sent me a box to sample what their subscription box looks like and includes. So we are going to check this out and unbox it. And clearly you can see my cat is just as interested in this as I am. Um, Wild Grain is a subscription um, sourdough bread and bakery company. They do monthly boxes for $89, which includes shipping. I will say my box had the shipping label created yesterday afternoon and it was overnighted via UPS and arrived, um, it's not even one o'clock in the afternoon here. So this was a very quick shipment. Uh, it was very safely wrapped in plastic wrap. And then there's another tape job. Um, they ship it frozen. So it goes straight from the box to the freezer and then you bake it off. Um, if you get the pasta boxes, obviously you're not gonna bake pasta, you're gonna boil it. And when it is shipped, <clears throat> it comes packed in dry ice. So make sure you're careful. You know the restrictions around dry ice. Don't touch it with your bare hands. Don't put it on anything that might crack. Let it evaporate safely and dispose of it. Um, you can kind of see there's a insulated uh, package around it. And again, it can keep it really nice and cold in here. If the dry ice evaporates before it gets to you, as long as what's inside is cold to the touch, you're good to go. So it's food safe. Um, so in mine, I have sourdough walnut bread, sourdough bread, sourdough rolls, which is a special they're doing right now where you get eight free sourdough rolls with every new subscription box you do from now until May. Um, I also have slow fermented seed, three seed bread, fresh tonarelli, which is a kind of pasta, fresh fettuccine, again, a kind of pasta, giant chunk cookies, yum, and then a first box thank you card, which is awfully sweet. So inside, these are the sourdough rolls that I was talking about. They are frozen and you just pretty much bake them um, once you get them. So I'm kind of excited about this. They have instructions on the back for what exactly you need to do when you bake them. Then everything else is baked in terms of the bread, so I don't have to worry about it. So this is a slow fermented three seed bread, which comes frozen. I pretty much just need to um, put it in an oven and let it bake until the crust is golden dark brown. So, I mean, I can feel this, it feels baked. Tell me it's pretty much baked. I just need to warm it up all the way through from the freezer. And then I have this one, which is the sourdough walnut bread. I'm kind of excited about that one. These are my giant chocolate chunk cookies. Um, I'm gonna have to hide this from my kids, I can tell, because these cookies, there are six of them in here. Um, they're not gonna last very long, but they are like literally an inch plus thick. So I can only imagine how big they're gonna actually turn into. And then I have my sourdough bread, which is, again, got the baking instructions on it, but I can feel it. I mean, it's already baked, baked. It's just the completion of that process. And then I have my two pastas, which is this one, which is the very nice, thin um, tonarelli. So this one, again, you boil it. It's six to eight minutes, literally, again, frozen to the pot. So I don't have to sit there and try to figure out Oh, did I thaw it today? Did I remember to take it out of the freezer? So that's good news on my part. And then we have the fettuccine. Again, this is a fresh pasta that they have. And lastly, oops, I have my little thank you note, which is just a cute little thing that says, thank you for being a Wild Grain member. Hi, Joanna here, head baker and co-founder at Wild Grain. Thank you for choosing Wild Grain and for supporting small bakers and pasta makers. Your membership helps keep the tradition of artisanal and nutritional food alive. I hope you're enjoying your first box. We're here for you if you have any questions. Cheers, Joanna. So cute, sweet, and yes, it does have an email um, on the very bottom of it, so I actually can reach out if I have any questions. And then lastly, I'm gonna be really careful and not actually touch it. We have the dry ice, so it stayed frozen, clearly. It's also winter in Chicago, so it's going to stay frozen much more than it would otherwise. But don't touch it, leave it, let it thaw. I'm gonna leave it in the box, not even touching it. And then once it's evaporated, because it goes sublimation, the solid straight to the gas, there's no water. You don't have to worry about that mess. Um, but otherwise, everything else is in my box. I'm gonna go put straight in my freezer and I can't wait to actually taste it. So let me know, have you ever tried wild grain? Are you interested in trying wild grain? 
what do you think about this? I think this would make a really fun gift to give someone who likes food but maybe doesn't like to make it from scratch themselves. Or if you have a kid who is getting their first apartment, someone who just got married and they just started a new job and they need something that's gonna give them a little bit more time, a little help and so forth. So I'm excited, I can't wait to try these. I think this is a really cool idea for a subscription box. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and don't forget to subscribe.